and welcome to our lesson on describing transformations. So when we describe transformations, we need to know whether the two shapes are congruent or similar. If they are congruent, it will either be a rotation or a reflection or a translation. If the two shapes are similar, it will be an enlargement. Okay, so let's begin with transforming object A to image B. So you can see that A and B are congruent, and in this case they are a reflection. So we need to make note of a reflection. And the distance between these two vertices is two. So the mirror line will be halfway, and this will be along the X axis. So that is our mirror line. You could also call that Y equals zero. Okay, let's try A to E. So the transformation maps object A onto image E. Well, you can see the two shapes are congruent, and in this case, it will be a translation. And to describe a translation, we need a translation vector, which includes a horizontal and a vertical movement. So the horizontal from this vertex to this vertex is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which is positive eight because we're moving right, and one, two, three, four units down, so minus four. And from D to G, again, they are two congruent shapes, so in this case it will be a rotation. And when we transform using a rotation, we need a center and a direction. In this case, the center is at point 3, 3, which is an invariant point because it transforms back onto itself. And you can see this is a 180 degree rotation. So 180 degrees. Okay, let's move on to question four. So do you want to make a copy of this grid on square paper and then try and describe the transformation that maps D onto F, B onto C and E onto G. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So to map D onto F, well, they are two congruent shapes. So it will be a reflection. And the distance between this vertex and this vertex is six. So the mirror line will be halfway. And again, that is along the X axis. So the X axis is the mirror line. You could also call it when Y equals zero. So transforming shape B onto shape C. Well, in this case, B and C are similar. So it will be an enlargement. And the scale factor, well, the, the length of the pole in B is three, and in C, the length is six. So the scale factor will be two, because three times two makes six. And the center, we need to find using rays, which I will go from this vertex and this vertex. and then from this vertex and this vertex. And the second ray, and you can see the two rays intersect at the center, which is at one and negative two. Okay, finally, to describe the transformation that maps E onto G, we can see the two shapes are congruent, so it will be a rotation. The center is at three and negative one. And you can see it is a anti-clockwise rotation of 90 degrees. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. 
Thanks again, and take care.